Alright, well, what do you think about this guy? Do you think he's telling the truth or do you think he's lying? Hmm. I don't know. And if I say lie, I need to present him with evidence. Which, we have his gun at the store. We have his gun at the scene. So, I'm gonna go ahead and lie and see if I can show him the gun. You deny owning a Browning pistol. Serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Hmm, okay. Evidence is key to discrediting false statements and finding the truth. Keep your evidence in mind during an interview in order to identify false statements. Accusing with incorrect evidence will hurt your credibility and make the witness more uncooperative. Use R up to, deserve, to observe the suspect. For a circle of back, I have an accusation. Okay. Browning handgun. Didn't I ask for a lawyer? Shouldn't you be on the phone, officer? Wait, what? Gage was an asshole. But his death was Wait, what? Dead. I don't get I don't know what just happened. I've just gotta keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making I don't know what I did, shot. man. Come on. <sighs> can I re can I redo that or some something? Because that was I didn't even know what I was doing. Man, I don't know what I was. I thought I uh, thought I was just reviewing evidence. Great, now he's gonna be all mad at me. It's not what I wanted to do. You disappoint me, cool folks. Get back in there and raise a lunch boy. I need a confession. God damn it! It's not what I wanted. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. So I gotta do this again, apparently. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Edward Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear okay. all this up. Alright, so let's do it correctly this time. Okay, he's lying. You deny owning a Browning pistol. Serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but 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 it was stolen okay. in a so, burglary a couple years ago. I need to point the evidence that proves he's lying, which basically means he serviced the murder weapon. <clears throat> he definitely did that. So let's let's pick that. There we go. Correct. And bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you were. Is that so? Possible religious motive. Huh, okay, so he's... I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> is that some kind of, uh... Is that some kind of derogatory Jewish word or something like that? I don't know, I've never heard that term actually before. Nebuchadnezzar, I have no idea what that even means. Okay. Possible religious motive. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? Yeah, there you, you go. Deny you're Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? Ah, uh, he's a about. he's a Jew. Okay. He said Gage didn't like Jews. I wonder if maybe. Possible possible relationship enmity between Kalu and Gage. All right. Um. This is the evidence. A possible religious motive. Let's doubt him. Got it right. Left wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names? You goddamn good butt snatcher! You're with that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those monsters. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kite this and kite that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Killed him. I did. Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. Ranked updated. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I 
hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. All right, so we got it right. At least they let me redo it. Okay, at least the game wasn't stupid and... Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young folks. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. He's gonna promote me. a man with your talent for wavering justice. Back to your duties for now, boy. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. He's gonna promote me to a detective, I think. Wow, okay. So, <clears throat> alright, so at least they let me redo the interview, which made a lot more sense because. Patrol complete, your actions have earned your promotion. Prepare for reassignment. Los Angeles Police Department. And there we go, I got a trophy, Police Academy. Sound investigative techniques, service weapon proficiency, peak physical conditioning, and keen interrogation instincts. Sweet. Cool. <clears throat> the driver's seat. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. I wish I had gotten the thing right with the girl in the store, though. She might have been able to tell me a little bit more, but... need to kind of get some practice with this interviewing stuff. Here's your new desk, kid. Uh-oh, they friend. promoted me. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the man. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. <laughs> this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved <laughs> the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. So Here's I'm now in the offices. Stefan Burkowski. Heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along. I'm here to learn, Detective. Huh? He's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. I'm Hi, a Phelps. detective. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change for busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that? Roy Earl, chief detective and Ed Biden. They all dress like movie stars. But Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his <laughs> audience. What is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. All right, then. So now I am a... I now I am really Detective Cole. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with that's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? <laughs> I did my best, Captain. Why you war hero is always so modest. I'm partnering Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell does it. Well, that's why we have partners, right? Okay, okay, oh, yeah. get it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. All right. Screw up. You'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. Patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find. There. Okay, so I'm doing traffic cases on, now. Uh, so that must be with that uh, the console's car. I'm not moving myself. All right, so now it's really the game, I guess. Now it's really the open world gameplay. Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Can you follow my partner here, Bukowski? Strips off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out and the DA runs in my head. Are you drunk, Mister? What? You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal people in the warehouse. Of course I have to drive. I'll direct. Bells, leave him be. All right, here we go. This is American 
Century Broadcasting. I unlocked another uh, vehicle. All units of 459 just occurred at 6 and 7. Any unit to handle, come to identify. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Mikowski? We have to work together, don't be so touchy. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Now look what you've done! Oh well. I pressed X to respond to the call, but. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college in Stanford. Did two years ROTC before great OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Year of beat. Now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. Jesus, stop stopping in front of me, man. I get there in one piece. No. You were up there all night. Drink the flag. Nice which you can see. Gun at the ready. Finished. <laughs> the Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Mikowski. What did you do? I kept the speech of LA safe for the people here. Yeah. Alright, so apparently there is a little thing on my mini map here. All units of 459 just occurred at 6 and 7. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11K, go ahead and get your PO. 11K, a 459 suspect just left 6 and 7. Okay. Suspect is a male Caucasian, believed to still be in the area. Let's go get him. There he is. They're running. I wouldn't feel safe in a tank with you, Brad. Masked gunman. I took on a secondary uh, mission here. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Okay. Alright, so it's time to go get him. Oh, Jesus. He's shooting. That ain't good. Alright, we're, we're gonna have to take him down. 